We are certainly hoping for that moisture. Let's get a check on the weather with Chris and anything in the future. Uh, well, we do have a little bit of snow on the way for the high country. Absolutely not enough, but we will take what we can get. And for a few areas, uh, well, it may be up to a foot. We'll show you the details here in just a second. I want to start you off with temperatures around the state, and it's pretty seasonal right now. We're 21 degrees in Gunnison for one of the colder spots, but most all of our major stations in the 30s or the low to mid 40s, 43. At the airport, it's 45 down in Trinidad, and it is 37 over in in rifle. Our weather watcher Mark Mannheimer in Silverthorne, 32 degrees at last check, and I liked his report. He said it's getting windy. We don't like the wind, but he got two and a half inches of snow last night there in Silverthorne. So nice to see at least a little bit of fresh snow. It's windy on the far eastern plains. Burlington, you're gusting up above 30. We do have this little pocket of wind that Mark was referring to in Summit County between Denver and Summit County. It is on the breezy side across our foothills. Salida, you have recently clocked a wind gust at 24. We do have a little bit of very, very light snow on the far western slope of Colorado. Very light snow showers. This is out ahead of the main weather system that will be taking shape for this weekend and actually this is going to shift our pattern just a little bit compared to recent weeks. This storm system sitting on the west coast, watch what it's going to do here. It just kind of hangs out all weekend long, gradually moving inland and taking a little bit of a southeasterly jog. By Sunday it should be sitting somewhere over Arizona, but it is close enough that Colorado will definitely notice this storm system in the area in terms of mountain snow. Here's future cast as we move into your night tonight. We'll see snow increasing in the high country. There's a surge of moisture towards sunrise tomorrow, mainly along and west of the Continental Divide. Eastern Colorado, we are dry. However, watch up here as we go into Sunday evening into the overnight hours, a little front will back in and we may see some pockets of flurries developing here along the front range Saturday night into your Sunday. And then there's a second surge of snow for the high country on Sunday. So it's going to be a snowy weekend in the higher elevations with winter weather advisories in effect. And it's these west central and southwestern mountains where we think we could see some places approach a foot, maybe even just a little bit better in the San Juans. High temperatures today will warm just a few more degrees. We'll top off 30s and 40s just about statewide. 50s in the southeast, teens and 20s on the way tonight with increasing cloud cover. Here's that five day forecast. McKenzie and Denver will be in the 40s for the next few days. And there's your cold front Saturday night into Sunday. McKenzie Sunday morning might be one of those days you wake up with flurries and a lot of low cloud cover in the area will be a little bit cooler as well. Yeah, feeling like snow coming on the way, but maybe not full. We'll take any flake we can get, right? Exactly, we will. Thanks so much, Chris.